Hello friends, this is Dr. Prem Kumar. Let us have a discussion on extendable hashing technique. It is one of the dynamic hashing techniques. Hashing techniques are generally used for faster searching of the values. If there are multiple values and if you want to search a particular value, then with the help of hashing techniques, you can search. The hashing techniques are of two types. One is called static hashing, the second is dynamic hashing. One is static hashing, the second is dynamic hashing. Under dynamic hashing, you are having extendable hashing and linear hashing. In this class, let us have a discussion on extendable hashing. What makes the difference between the static hashing and dynamic hashing? In static hashing, once the values are stored in bucket, bucket is nothing but it is a memory location. When once a value is stored in the bucket, the value remains in the same position. Whenever a new value comes, the new value goes to some other bucket. So the old values stays in the bucket in which they are placed. Their values will not be changed. That is static in nature. Coming to the dynamic hashing, we will be storing values in buckets. That is a memory. Whenever new value enters, there is a possibility the old values may change their buckets into some other locations from one memory location to another memory location the value may be moved depending upon the dynamic entry of the new values so this is a dynamic hashing technique which is more beneficial than static hashing technique these dynamic hashing techniques there are two types one is extendable hashing the second is linear hashing in this class today we'll have a discussion on extendable hashing Advantages of extendable hashing Dynamic table size means when values are entered dynamically the directory entries gets increased and decreased. So there is a dynamicity when the values are being entered the directory size gets increased when the values are deleted the directory size gets decreased that is the dynamicity is there that is the dynamic table size. The second point, constant time access. Suppose I would like to search for a particular value. It takes some time. Let me say the time, x time it takes. If I want to search some other value, yes, it takes only x time. I want to search a third value, it takes x time. So the searching for any type of value is constant. So there is a constant time access. It takes big O of 1. The time complexity is nothing but big O of 1. So, what I mean to say is, it is very fast in accessing. There is no clustering concept. In the sense, a clusters are nothing but it is a memory management concept. Fragments and clusters will waste the memory. In order to control the memory wa wastage, we use this uh, extendable hashing technique, with which you can have the efficient memory management. Implementation. It is an easy to implement. So, Extendable hashing, it is very easy for the implementation. If you want to develop the algorithms for this extendable hashing, it can be comfortably done with this. Adaptability to changes. So, whenever a split occurs or merging the buckets or splitting the buckets, it can be comfortably done. And the changes, the incorporate, incorporation of the changes can be done comfortably, adaptable for changes using this extendable hashing low overheads for small tables suppose the small data values are being entered small number of data values are entered then the overheads are less so when there is a large amount of data it is not pre prescribed this extendable hashing is not prescribed it is not preferred when you are working with the small data sets then there are low overheads and this extendable hashing is preferred balanced distribution the values gets distributed evenly there is no skewing and uh, even distribution among all the buckets can be done that is a balanced distribution is one of the advantage of extendable hashing efficient for dynamic workload when the it is not a constant it is a dynamic workload when the values are being entered dynamically unevenly spontaneously for dynamic workloads for the real-time environments uh, 
it is uh, prescribed to go with the extendable hashing techniques so these are few advantages uh, we sorted out with extendable hashing techniques extendable hashing with an example we will take some sample data 16 4 6 22 24 10 31 7 9 20 and 26 I am writing the binary equivalent numbers here. I am writing the binary numbers here. You observe here the binary numbers. I am writing the binary numbers. Right? Now, the point to be observed, always you focus on the least significant bits. That is the last bits. You always focus on the last bits. That is the least significant bits. I am taking a directory. This green color structure, I am calling it as a directory. And these structures, I am calling it as a buckets. Buckets are nothing but the memory locations. Let me say the bucket size, the bucket size is 3, means in each memory location you can accommodate 3 values. If at all there is more than 3 values, if there are more than 3 values, then we say it is an overflow, bucket overflow. Right. Here, let us start with 1 bit. This is called as, this is called as global depth. I am putting it as a 1. Because 1 bit representation, 0, 1. This is only 1 bit representation, 0, 1. And hence, I am taking the global depth. This I am calling it as a global depth. That is nothing but it is a global depth. The global depth I am taking it as a 1. And this is uh, on the bucket you are hanging here. This hook I am calling it as a local depth. I am calling it as a local depth. This is a global depth. And this I am calling it as a local depth. Local depth is also 1. Global, global depth is 1. 1 Im implies it is 1 bit representation. Here I am taking 0, 1. It is only a single bit representation. First I would like to insert 16. The least significant bit of 16 is 0. And hence I am putting 16 in the 0th bucket. In the 0th bucket. The directory is pointing out to the 0th bucket. Here I am putting 16. Next I am taking 4. The 4, the least significant bit is 0 and 4 is placed in the bucket 0. The 4 is placed in the bucket 0. The least significant bit is 0. You can observe here. And hence, I am taking 4 into the bucket with 0. With 0. Into the bucket with 0. Now, I am taking 6. Its least significant bit is 0. 6. Its least significant bit is 0. And 6 is also placed in the 0th bucket based on the least significant bit I am placing. So 6 is placed in the 0th bucket. In the 0th bucket, 6 is placed. So here you got 16, 4 and 6. Right? Now I am taking 22. Its least significant bit is 0. So 22 is to be placed in the 0th bucket. In the 0th bucket. But remember, here the bucket size is 3. We already considered the bucket size is 3. There should be only 3 in the bucket. Accommodation is only for the 3 data items. Right? Now I am placing 22. 22 because its least significant bit is 0. I am placing 22 here. Here there is a overflow. There is a overflow. 20, 22 is nothing but this is an overflow. Remember. Whenever there is a overflow. The directory which is pointing which is pointing out to this bucket gets a split gets increased or it gets doubled the directory gets doubled whenever whenever the uh, bucket gets overflow this bucket gets doubled this get, bucket gets a split the right terminology is the bucket gets split it becomes two and the directory gets doubled if the local depth and global depth are same the condition is local depth and global depth are same and if there is a overflow the overflow bucket gets split and the directory gets doubled that is the reason you can observe here here there are only two entries now you are you got four entries 00 01 10 and 11 and the global depth got increased the global depth got increased by 1. It became 2. Previously, the global depth is 1. Now, the global depth got increased. And similarly, the bucket which got split here, this bucket which got split, which got split here, you can notice, which got split, its local depth also got increased by 1. 
and hence its local depth is 2 you can notice here the local depth is 2 and the values are to be rehashed the values are to be rehashed so I am trying to rehash I am trying to rehash with the last two significant bits with the last least two significant bits not one bit I am considering two significant bits 16 last two significant bits is 0 0 so 16 is to be placed in 0 0 bucket 4 the, la the least two significant bits I am considering two significant bits are 0 0 so 4 is also placed in 0 0 the next is 6 least two significant bits is 1 0 6 is moved to the 1 0 bucket you observe here 6 is moved to the 1 0 bucket 1 0 6 is moved to the 1 0 big bucket 22 it's the least significant bits is 1 0 22 is also placed in 1 0 big bucket this bucket is unchanged it is pointing out by 1 and hence it is pointed pointed out by 1 and this also can be pointed out by 1 1 because because the last one is one the last digit is one here also the last digit is one okay it is one and one bit the least significant bit is one and one so, and hence it is being pointed now I would like to insert four I would like to insert 24 24 24 the least significant bit is zero so the 24 is to be placed 24 is to be placed in the zero bucket I am placing it in zero bucket or zero zero least two significant bits are zero zero 24 is placed in zero zero bucket because zero zero why I am saying zero zero the depth is two the global depth is two now you need to consider the global depth two and hence it is being placed here okay next is 10 10 least two significant bits is one zero so 10 is being placed with 10 10 is being placed with 10 now I am taking 31 the least two significant bits are 11 one so 31 is to be placed in 11 one 31 is to be placed in 11 one you can notice here 31 is placed in 11 one 31 is placed in 11 one right I hope you are following 31 is placed in 11 one 7 it's binary least significant bits are 11 one so 7 I am placing it in 11 one, one. 7 is being placed in 11 one, one bucket okay it is being placed in 11 one, one bucket or you can take uh, the least significant one bit for 31 the least significant one bit is 1 for 7 the least significant bit 1 is 1 and hence I am putting it in 1 you can take in this sense right next 9 it is nothing but the least significant bit is 1 the least significant bit is 1 and I am putting 9 here okay I am placing in 9 here you can notice the local depth is 1 means it is 1 bit representation we are considering only last 1 bit not 2 bits we are considering only last 1 bit and we are putting here last 1 bit is being considered right why I am saying last 1 bit you take 9 9 is 0 1 0 1 means it should not come here 0 1 means it should not come here right we are considering only least significant one bit and hence the 9 came to this bucket 9 it came to this bucket okay now I am taking 20 when I take 20 the 20 is the least significant bit is 0 in 0 in 0 you don't have accommodation last two bits if you consider you got 0 0 it is to be placed here 20 is a 0 0 there is a overflow because the bucket size is only 3 now this is the fourth value it is entering whenever there is a overflow the bucket with overflow gets a split and hence here there are three buckets in the next you can see there is a split bucket you got 1 2 3 4 so it got split eh? and its local depth gets increased by 1 it is 2 now it became 3 you can notice here there is 3 the local depth got increased by 1 it is 3 now it became 3 and remember the directory if local depth and global depth are same this is global depth this is local depth if local depth and global depth are same the directory gets doubled the directory gets doubled and hence you got 8 directory entries directory entries 8 directory entries 
जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 डबल जीरो वन जीरो वन डबल वन जीरो एंड ट्रिपल वन सो इट गॉट डबल्ड एंड रेस्ट और अनचेंज रेस्ट मीन्स दीज टू बकेट्स आर अनचेंज एज इट इज एज इट इज दिस सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू एंड टेन दीज आर अनचेंज थर्टी वन सेवन एंड नाइन दीज आर अनचेंज राइट these are the split buckets you can notice here there are split buckets and these values are to be rehashed that's what i am doing these are to be rehashed as i rehashed the 16 when i rehashed the 16 last two digits considering the last two three digits last three digits i'm sorry last three digits if i consider if for 16 it is triple zero and hence the 16 is staying in this 24 last three digits is triple zero and hence it is staying here it is being placed here okay four if you take last three for four it is last three one double zero so it is being placed in one double zero one double zero one double zero here i am placing four one double zero you can observe here one double zero it is four if i take 20 this is uh, when i say 20 the 20 it is 100 last three significant bits least significant bits okay it is 100 the 20 is also be placed in 100 it is being placed here right so this is cool and quite comfortable i guess now i would like to insert the next value 26 i would like to insert the next value 26 26 If I take uh, the least sig three significant bits, it is zero one zero, zero one zero. So twenty six is to be placed in zero one zero, zero one zero. So when I am trying to place twenty six in zero one zero bucket, zero one zero, which is pointing out here, you can notice here, it is pointing out here to this bucket. There is a overflow. Whenever there is a overflow, the bucket should get split and directory should get increased double. but the condition if the local depth is less than global depth listen to the condition if the local depth local depth is 2 global depth is 3 local depth is 2 if local depth of the overflow bucket is less than global depth then directory should not be doubled only the split should occur when the local depth is less than the global depth then directory should not be doubled only the bucket should get split that's what i'm doing so this is a split bucket and its local depth should get increased now it became 3 you can see here the local depth is 3 the local depth is 3 and these values are to be rehashed when i rehashed based on the last three significant bits 6 it is staying here 22 it is staying here 10 it moved to the another bucket 10 it moved to the another bucket you can see 26 it moved to the another bucket right and the values are getting distributed evenly the directory is getting increased and the values are getting distributed among the buckets evenly dynamically and hence this is called as a dynamic hashing technique this is extendable extendable dynamic hashing technique what is the advantage of this suppose i would like to search for a value 16 let me say 16 16 least significant bit is 0 least significant bit is 0 or based on the global depth you search the global depth is 3 least 3 bits you pick up the least 3 bits is 0 0 you search in 0 0 bucket 0 0 0 bucket you got 16 you can directly catch hold of 16 suppose i want 26 you take the least three significant bits of 26 26 least three significant bits are 010 010 010 so when you go with the 010 here you are getting 26 directly you are able to catch hold of this for example i want 22 22 least three significant bits 22 least three significant bits are 110 Go with one one zero one one zero one one zero. So when you search here, you got twenty two. Twenty two least three significant bits are uh, uh, when you consider it is one one zero. You are getting twenty two here. 
directly you will you are able to catch hold of the required value this is the advantage of extendable hashing technique thank you thank you very much dear friends thank you Thank <laughs> you.